Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris and I'm back with more Everyday RC and my Arma Italian. Well, I just wanted to give a little update for everyone out there. I know I haven't put out a video in about a week or two. I've just been super busy, especially after that whole primal shoot that I did. I've been just getting things in order getting my life in order as you know life happens so I eat breathe and sleep RC every single day that's why it's called everyday RC but I may not be able to put out a video every week for you guys right now but as the summer months are setting in I'm slowly getting all my vehicles back into shape and I'm getting myself back into shape so I can get out there and start filming RC videos for you guys so I purchased the Arm Italian for those of you that follow the channel know that I purchased it at the 2016 Ram Hobby Expo back in February and I still have not got a chance to run this vehicle. I did pop in a 2S pack and I put it around my basement real quick with it just to make sure everything operated properly after I bought it but I've been meaning to run this on 6S and of course you know that my batteries of choice are Max Amps batteries, so of course I've been wanting to run my Max Amps 5450, 11.1 volt, 120C 3S, so I have two of those in here, so I'm running 6S Max Amps in here right now. And I just recently soldered on my Castle, which you know I love my Castle connectors. I soldered on my 6.5 bullets, so now I can finally run this truck on 6S and I'm hoping to get out there tomorrow and get a running video done for you guys but I figured why leave you out of what's been going on as of late so I wanted to let you guys know exactly what's been going on um, got my castle connectors soldered on there got my Max Amps batteries installed I did test run this out front real quick and man guys this thing has a lot of power um, it does diff out a little bit I'm pretty sure it could use a little bit of a thicker uh, differential fluid in the center there um, because the front tires do dip out a little bit but other than that I'm pretty happy with the performance very similar to the Traxxas E-Revo as far as speed and handling I was skeptical about the stock tires uh, but they hook up pretty well on on blacktop or asphalt but we're going to be taking this off-road and I'm hoping to shoot a running video for you guys tomorrow. So I'm going to see how this thing performs out there jumping and really pushing this vehicle to the max. So I really like this truck. I really like the design of it. I like everything that Arma has done and they've really stepped up their game over the last few years. I mean the thick aluminum chassis, the brushless system, it's running on a 2050 kV brushless motor. It has a waterproof ESC. So, all waterproof electronics, and I love the red aluminum on here, and um, I love the thick aluminum shock towers, and I'm really happy with the steel drivetrain on here, and I'm just anxious to get this out tomorrow, do what I love to do best, and that's bash and jump. So stay tuned for that. I just wanted to keep you all posted on what's been going on in my RC life. I also wanted to mention to everyone out there, there will be a giveaway soon. When I hit 20,000 subscribers, there will be another t-shirt giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, find Everyday RC on Facebook and give it a like because I just transitioned my, my Facebook page over to a like page. So go stop on over if you haven't already. Like the Everyday RC Facebook page. Stay on top of what's going on in my RC life. I hope you all are making it happen in your RC world. And for now, this is Chris the Everyday RC Guy saying thanks for watching.